Hey folks, uh, this is Krish Mohan here. I am a nationally touring, socially conscious Indian stand-up comedian, uh, but I'm also the host of the interview podcast, Taboo Table Talk. Uh, if you haven't heard of Taboo Table Talk, I talk to a variety of different guests from comedians, musicians, activists, uh, journalists, politicians, uh, it's just random, sometimes it's just random people, sometimes it's just people, sometimes I'm just talking to like a, like a regular old person, uh, that's, that's not in the art world and trying to validate themselves, uh, through, 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 through audience interactions, uh, <laughs> uh, but the, uh, the reason I wanted to start this podcast was, uh, I started back in 2016, and uh, the reason I wanted to start is because I was having all these conversations after shows with with uh, comics, with other musicians, with audience members, with people that were doing some sort of political advocacy stuff that would have, that just came to the show or whatever. And you know, we're having a couple drinks and, and we're just hanging out and we're talking about philosophy and politics and uh, a variety of different issues. And, and it was always, even when we disagreed, very civil. There's a lot of discourse behind it. And, you know, sometimes my mind gets changed, sometimes their minds would get changed. And I felt like that was like, that was like a really cool thing that was happening that doesn't really happen a whole lot. So I wanted to make a show uh, that encapsulated that idea and that feeling behind it. So uh, I created Taboo Table Talk where I talk to a variety of different people about a variety of different topics that they are passionate about. Stuff that I think should be more talked about uh, you know, that is considered taboo in our society, unfortunately. Uh, and, and at first it only started as an interview show, uh, where I would kind of, uh, just ramble about some dates and stuff, and then I would go right into the interview. Um, and then as the show started, uh, evolving a little bit more, I wanted to do like a little like a somewhat of a, a, a radio style formatting to it. So I started doing these current events pieces called The Dispatch. Um, and those are at the very beginning of the episode where I talk about a uh, particular news story. They, it's very current eventsy. Um, that kind of tries, I try to connect it to a bigger idea. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know, uh, and, and then, uh, that idea started evolving and, uh, I wanted to do, uh, a little bit longer versions of those, right? Like every news story had a little bit, a little bit more to dig into it. So, uh, I, I started alternating the weeks between interviews and between these extended dispatches as I like to call them. Um, and one of the things I did was a uh, series called Someone to Vote For because I think we should be voting for someone rather than against someone. We should vote for people that uh, stand for what we believe in rather than claiming that they are, they are just not somebody that they're running against, right? Which is kind of what we saw in 2016. Um, but there is a lot of work that goes into it. So one of the ways that you can support a show like Taboo Table Talk is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Krish Mohan Ha Ha. Uh, so why would you support a show like this, right? Uh, it, it's, it's available for free for everybody to listen to, and the way that, that it, it would be monetized is by, by the patrons, uh, which would mean that uh, you would become a sponsor of the show. Uh, you'd be able to communicate with me about the show and things of that sort. So I, I, I am looking for some sort of uh, small business sponsor uh, that is more activist-minded, socially conscious, uh, you know, uh, bookstores. That I haven't figured that part out yet, but I am looking for some kind of sponsor. It has to be the right sponsor uh, that is okay with partnering up a show that addresses these sort of issues that you're... Again, none of these issues uh, are usually talked about in the mainstream. They're sort of... Uh, these sort of fringy alternative ideas that I think should be talked about a whole lot more in the mainstream. So why would you become a patron of this show, right? It's just an interview podcast, Chris, who cares? Uh, there is a lot of work that goes into uh, into a show like this. Um, I have to schedule all of the interviews, take time out to do the interviews. 
Uh, usually the interviews take between an hour and an hour and a half. Uh, if it's a really good interview, sometimes longer. If it's a really, really good interview, uh, then it becomes a two-part episode. Um, so booking, I have to contact people. I have to, I have to schedule. I have to um, make sure that I am in a, a, a space to either meet the person face to face, or or be able to take it via phone or Skype or something like that. And then. Uh, once that's done, I kind of have to listen back to it to make sure I know what the episode is about. So that takes a little bit of time. Uh, and then uh, I also do the research for the dispatches, uh, which usually takes... The, the dispatches to do the research and to write take me about uh, one to three days, depending on what it is. Um, sometimes if I'm doing one of those extended dispatches about a particular candidate and I really want to dig deep into them, um, it's going to take me a little bit longer to do that kind of research, uh, but typically one to three days. And then uh, it takes me roughly uh, four, maybe five hours to like record intros, outros, and put the podcast together and get it ready to release to the public. Once it's released, I put it up on, uh, on Anchor.fm, which gets it out to the iTunes and the Stitchers and the Spotify's and all that fun jazz. Um, and, um, and then I promote it as much as I can, uh, within different groups, within my social media, within my email list that goes out every single week that you can become a part of today. Uh, and, uh, so, so it's, it it goes into promoting mode so that I can, um, work on getting, getting new, new listeners, work on, uh, uh, tapping older listeners that might have fallen behind on some episodes and need to need to catch up or are just interested in listening to uh, particular guests that address particular topics uh, so all of that work um, you know usually that sort of stuff again is done by some kind of a staff um, so that's kind of what you'd be helping if you became a patron over at patreon.com slash Krishmo and haha uh, and you'd be helping an independent DIY socially conscious podcast um, and uh, if you go on there one, one of the goals uh, if we get to if we get to this goal is to try to do live events uh, free and open to the public and uh, essentially if we hit that goal I'll be able to pay all of the artists uh, these live events that I want to do are uh, half shows half panel discussions so I want to be able to pay the people, um, and I want I want to be able to uh, correspond it with my touring, so that if you want to come see me perform live stand up comedy and then come see a live podcast, uh, you don't have to pay for the live podcast. You don't have to pay for two different shows. Uh, so so uh, by being a by being a, supporting the Patreon, you're you're essentially helping me try to ascertain that goal um, of, uh, of 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 doing those live events, of, of having that public discourse, being open to the public and sh- and shedding light and, and engaging in live discussion. That's very important as well. Um, so there's more details that I, I will probably do in order to uh, try to get some kind of funding via Patreon, via sponsorships perhaps, uh, to do those types of events that is in the horizon for me. Uh, but go to patreon.com slash kishmohan check out check out that tier check out that goal maybe you can help out but all of it starts only at two dollars a month for two dollars a month uh, you can help support the show you can help grow this show you can help make it uh, so, something cooler and engage with me and, and have conversations if there's a guest I should have on if there is a topic I should consider talking about a perspective that I haven't been able to take uh, being being a people pro- people sponsor, a person sponsor of the show, um, and having that direct access to me via the Patreon, uh, yeah, that that's that's what it's all about. It's all about building community. Uh, so I hope you guys do that. I hope you guys check out the podcast. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, stay taboo. Thanks for getting into it, and we'll see you on the road, folks. Flash storms, it's a flash storm.
probably gonna hear it in the video. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, it's crazy for just a second. Back of my car, totally fucking dry. Sometimes in storms like this, I feel like angels are spitting at us if they were real. <laughs> <laughs>